Hey everybody. So before we get started with this video, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And if you would please subscribe to our channel, we would really appreciate it. And we would consider it like a Christmas slash New Year's miracle. <laughs> Yeah, thanks everybody. This has been so much fun and um, we just want to get um, all the views that we can. And so if you if you do like what you see, just hit the like button. That helps us out a bunch and subscribe. Okay, so let's get on with our New Year's video. Thanks guys. Hey everybody. Fatbird Finds here. We hope that you had a really awesome Christmas last week. Um, if you're new to our channel, I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And we are Fatbird Finds. Um, we have a special video coming up for you. We actually got a notification on our eBay store not long ago that we had hit our first $1,000 in eBay sales. Woo so we were really excited and uh, we just kind of wanted to share with you guys how we've done that, kind of how we got started. Bless you, Nikki, if you can hear her sneezing in the background. No, you can hear me. I'm sorry. It's okay. So we just kind of wanted to share with you kind of our journey so far and what we've done and how we got here and what we're all about. Yeah, that'll be fun, I think. So Laura has been wanting to, for a long time, to do kind of a recap video <laughs> of some of our first um, auctions and thrift sales and stuff like that. So we thought with the new year coming up, this is kind of like an end to the year, saying goodbye to 2019. And we thought that'd be a good opportunity to show you guys what we've done so far. Yeah, and I think it's interesting. I like it on other people's channels when, you know, you see the people out and about getting the items and putting them on eBay. It's just kind of interesting to see what they really did bring. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of where we got started, um, earlier this year in 2019, I think it was in the spring, Laura approached me with this idea and she said, you know, I've got this really great idea. I think we can make some extra money. Let me hear what you think. And she told me, she said, I think we should start selling stuff on eBay. And I'm like, <laughs> what are we going to sell on eBay? In my mind, I'm thinking like baseball cards and junk. And I'm like, we're not going to make any money doing this. Like in true Mary Beth fashion, I'm so skeptical of anything that Laura You're said. You're so skeptical. <laughs> so she's like, no, 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 no. So Laura has this really awesome background in antique furniture. So do you want to kind of share a little bit about that? Yes. Um, so I am third generation uh, antique store um, owner. I don't do that for a living now. My mom and I did do that for a living when my girls were small. And um, she still does it. And so I've grown up in it. My grandmother started in the 50s. So that's pretty awesome. So in that, I think that you've probably seen a lot of really cool vintage, antique, really cool stuff. Yeah, I wish all the time that we had had our phones and videos and stuff like that where we could go back and see. You know, um, we live in a town that had a boom in the 50s. They built a big plant mm -hmm. that supported all the growth and population growth and stuff in this area, uh, Union Carbide. And all these people they had this influx and all these people needed places to stay and they needed furniture. And so that's how my grandmother started. She just started simply by selling beds, mattresses, wow. just the simple stuff that people needed. But I mean, she quickly, by the 70s, um, she was doing auctions in St. Louis and finding fantastic things that of course, we wish we had back, <laughs> you know, but I mean, it was great. It was really great. That's awesome. So, yeah, so she just kind of approached me and, and brought this to me. She was like, I think we should go to yard sales. I think we should go to flea markets because we like to do that stuff together anyway. And she said, you know, why not try to, to flip a little bit of this stuff for some profit? So skeptical me, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what I'm going to bring to this partnership. <laughs> And so she was like, well, you know, you can take our pictures for our eBay store and you can put our videos together. So that's kind of, 
Sorry, Ben. <laughs> if anybody heard that, Mickey stepped on a, on a dog toy over there in the background, and, and my dog, Dixie, just like perked up off the couch. It was pretty funny. Sorry for the interruption. Mickey, are you sorry? Yeah, I'm very sorry. <laughs> what was that saying? I don't know. I was going to add, though, the fact that um, my mom would want me to say that now then we are e we're selling on eBay and thrifting and finding items that you can buy for next to nothing and still make money on. And that's kind of the fun and the challenge um, of it this time around. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we've had, I've had a long time of, you know, buying nice things and selling them for a nice profit. But that's a whole different area. This is, we just thought that it would be fun to find things that nobody else knows is valuable yet and see how much you can get for them. Yeah, it's been a really cool journey. So we just kind of wanted to reflect and backtrack and, and show you guys some of the stuff that we've found and, and what we've sold it for. Yeah, All right. let's do it, it's be fun. Okay, so some of this stuff um, at the beginning I was looking for the listings and since I think it's been more than 90 days, um, it's, it's not wanting to show up for me um, on eBay. So some of these things we have shown um, in some of our prior videos, I know for a fact that we have shown the genie lamp picture several times. Um, that was one of the funniest finds that I think that we that we had. Yeah, it was really funny. So the genie lamp was just in this box of, of stuff that we got at an auction and it was just the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that was it was a pretty it was a pretty bad lot of stuff. Yeah. It's just that it was a dollar. There was some one or two things that we thought was interesting in there, but there was they if you've ever ever been to an auction, you know that sometimes that they can't get stuff to sell so they add to it because they've got to get rid of everything. So that's what was happening in these in these lots mm -hmm. of crazy random stuff. It's like, I was like, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. And then finally they get to something that you want. Well, you've got to buy all that other stuff with it for nothing, but, but you, you still know, have to take it. <laughs> we've kind of gotten lucky on some of those boxes of junk. Yeah, it's it's been <laughs> fun to go through that and just to see, I mean, there's things that well, I guess it's fun because there's things that you would never pick out to sell. Right. So if you're just, we just happen to get them and we're like, hey, let's look this up. And then we're like, whoa, okay, <laughs> well, we can sell that. <laughs> so yeah, the genie lamp was one of our first um, sales and that was really cool. Um, Laura, I know we've talked about this too. There was a bone china magnolia flower that Laura picked up at a at the 400 yard, yard, yard sale. Yes. For like, what, a couple dollars? Yes. And sold it for 70 so that was one of our cool, cool sales. A cigar box. I mean, you guys have all seen cigar boxes like in your mom's or your grandmother's closets full of pictures or baseball cards or whatever. You know, we sold that. How much did we sell that for? $11? Yeah, I mean, that was just... I mean, and it was the same case. It was a box full of nothing yeah. that we thought. Yeah, so, you know, $10 doesn't seem like much. And really... A thousand dollars isn't a ton of money in the span of things, but you know, we are not doing this full time by any means. No, I wouldn't even say, I mean, it's just a hobby at this point. Yeah. I mean, really, realistically in the six months that we've been selling things, we've really not gone to that many. No, I've got, a, I've got a little notebook that I've been keeping up with. And I think we only really have about maybe seven or eight hauls. Yeah. So a thousand dollars in seven or eight hauls for, you know, the two of us doing this part time in amongst our full time jobs. It's, it, you know, it's just a little bit of extra spending money for vacations or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this this tin box from the box company. I know we've got a picture of that. Maybe I can I can uh, float that up on the screen. <laughs> this Ed Hardy shirt. <laughs> Where did you get that? I had a doctor's appointment and so we decided, I decided to take my mom and Guy. Guy's another picker for us, my aunt. She just likes to get out and about. <laughs> and so we just decided to make a morning of it and go to the thrift stores. So this was like somewhere in Indiana, maybe, I mean, almost to Evansville, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And um, just at a Goodwill, my mom comes carrying it up. She's like, hey, this looks interesting. Do you think you could sell this on eBay? And I was like, 
Yeah, I think we probably could. That's great. <laughs> okay, so now, now we... how my mom knew that an Ed Hardy shirt would sell. I love your mom. <laughs> I mean, how does she know that? She knows all kinds of stuff. She just like has an instinct for it. Yeah, well, and that's where you get it, I guess. I guess so. I mean, you're like over here, like, <laughs> oh, we're, we can we can make money on this, and I'm like, really? But you know, she's always right. So, <laughs> what do I know? Okay, I'm so, glad we have that on video. <laughs> great. I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, so now we're gonna get down to some stuff that I still do have the URLs for um, some of the stuff that we've sold. So do you wanna just like click through these and, and go for it? Yeah, I think we should do that. We okay. can sort of just briefly touch on each one. So the first one was uh, this pair of Otagiri mugs that we sold for $12.99. I'm not sure what you picked those for. Yeah, they were a, a dollar, I think. Awesome. Um. Oh no, those were the same place where the head, the Ed Hardy shirt came from, <laughs> and they were a quarter a piece. Are you serious? Yeah, so cute. I almost kept those. I love those. Okay. But um, we learn as we go, right? So really, I probably shouldn't have put Odagiri with a question mark because I'm not positive that that's what they are, even though I know that's what they are. There's no sticker. The sticker has come off over the years or whatever. So I should have left that alone. Next time I won't do that. This, the things that we have listed now that are Odagiri have the sticker that says it. That's cool. Yeah. And so if you're curious about how this all breaks down, um, Laura primarily is the person going to these uh, like Goodwill stores and thrift shops and, and flea markets and things. I tag along when I can. Um, she lists everything on eBay. I put together all of the videos and edit. Um, I take the pictures for the most part for eBay. Mm -hmm. And then she comments on most of the videos. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's it's kind of a fun 50-50 breakdown. And oh, we, yeah. And we have a lot of fun doing it. Definitely. Okay, so I'm going to click on the next one. Um, you're going to see in this list that we have several Afghans. And those have really been... <laughs> A hot seller for us we've really done well yes and let me just say i have got my mom on this one. Oh, really yes she can't imagine she <laughs> she can't even she can't she can't deal with it she's like what <laughs> i can't imagine that you've sold those for 30 or 40 dollars i'm like i know mom it's so great so good yeah i think that i told my family that too that we're selling a lot of afghans they're like <laughs> seriously well you know when you think I never thought about it before, but when you really think about it, do you, I mean, can you imagine how many hours somebody has put into one of those? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, you're just rescuing it from a junk heap for somebody else to love and enjoy. And I just think that makes me happy thinking about, you know, we have rescued these things that people spent like months on. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You guys are probably comment below saying it doesn't take months to make an Afghan, but it, it would take me. A month. It would take me a couple of years, more, most likely. So when now, Mary Beth, we should tell them if it's not just any old Afghan, probably is going to be that's true a good seller. That's true, and we've got several more down here in the list that we can kind of show you what to look for, and maybe Laura can give you some tips of what not to look for. But for now, let's let's just keep on going. Okay, so next is uh, salt and pepper shake shakers, these pineapples. I would just like to give myself a shout out <laughs> on these. On one of our videos, it was, I think it was that really bizarre auction that we went to, that Bunch Brothers auction. Yes, it? it was. We got tons and tons of salt and pepper shakers and we just laid them all out on the table. And we all picked one. Nikki picked one, Laura picked one, the ones that we thought would sell first. I picked the pineapples. <laughs> they sold first. It was like the first time in my life that something that I picked sold first. Nikki, with her pick of the tombstones, those also sold. The little Eskimos that Laura thought would sell first haven't no, sold yet. Not only have they not sold, they don't even have any watchers. <laughs> like nobody even knows they exist on there. I'm sorry that that happened to you. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> so yeah, those are just little cute salt and pepper shakers. I mean, we got this you huge. Should, hey, you should link that video. I will. I'll okay. link that video down below. My cat is sneezing uncontrollably. Are you done? Food. I think he's done. <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? 
that you're going to link the video. I'm going to link the video down below. Where oh. you and Nikki were right and I was wrong. It's true. <laughs> so, this, this seriously though, this huge box of salt and pepper shakers, I don't remember what we spent on that. It wasn't a lot. No. It was mm -hmm. like. I have my notebook here. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. I will look and see what we spent on that. I was going to consult her <laughs> notebook. But you keep talking. I, I will tell you here. Um... Oh yeah, that whole day was only sixteen dollars. So I think the the box itself was eleven dollars and fifty cents, but it was huge. <laughs> yeah, and we've sold several salt and peppers out of out of that oh, yeah. box. So we've done you know pretty well on that. Yeah, we've sold yeah several. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Uh, next is this giraffe head, this wooden giraffe. Um, like sculpture thing? Yeah, that was 400 mile yard sale. Okay. I don't think we talked about that in the video of the 400 mile yard sale, but we didn't have time for everything. Yeah, there was a ton of stuff in that video, and we didn't, unfortunately, have time for everything. So, but yeah, this one was, it was really cool. It was just a uh, little carved giraffe. He was cute. We sold him for $12.95. Yeah, he was a dollar. Awesome. All right, let's go on. So, this one was one of my favorite things that we got. And it was this um, art glass vase. And we did end up selling that for, let's see what it was, $49. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a great price for that. Yeah, I think so. And it was really, really pretty. And it was really tall. It was. That was a keeper. <laughs> but, I mean, you, it wouldn't go in here in your... No. Decorating or anything. No, it wouldn't. Oh, but it was cute. I loved it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll link all of these videos down below for you guys. Okay, so the next one is this little trucker. Okay, he came out of the box of, of salt and pepper shakers. He did? That one that we were talking about. That's right, he did. And so, um, yeah, and we were talking about that, just so you guys know. We were talking about it in the video. When you go back and watch it, you'll see we, we were like, is that carved wood? Is it, what is that? And uh, we looked it up further, and it's a resin um, made kind of out of crushed pecan shells or something like oh, that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it gives it that weird wood kind of texture or look to it. Um, but that was a total, that was a total sleeper. Who who knew that that brought? What does it bring? <laughs> uh, Thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, in our eleven dollar box. Right. Yeah. So that was that was great. Okay, onward. Oh, this was one of your favorites. This little art glass bowl. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having that back. <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah, I think after we, we shipped that off, Laura was so sad. <laughs> I'm happy for the person that got it. I just, I love that bowl. Yeah, it was really, really unique and really pretty. We'll find us another one, maybe. Great, and we sold that for 30 bucks. 30 bucks, um, that was on an online auction, only paid probably a couple of dollars for that. And um, that's one though that I think it might have been worth a little more than that. Well, but we live and learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my favorite. The Aztec ashtray. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. This is my favorite thing. Oh uh, yeah. This was just a really tacky. Who would think? I laughed at you on the video. Yeah. Mary Beth. Yeah. I, I, was, I was laughing at myself. I was being sarcastic when I was like, this is my favorite thing that we found. Because I was like, Laura, we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be stuck with all of this garbage. We're just, we're going to become hoarders. And we sold this for $18. And that now, and that one came from that genie lamp auction box where I told you that we just got a bunch of stuff we didn't want. Yes, that was definitely in that box. But oh my gosh, it's so funny because I just made all kinds of fun of you for that. And then I looked them up later because I didn't even bother for a whole a long time. And I looked them up later, and then put a price on it, and it sold. I know. It's yeah. <laughs> okay. Onward. Vintage Valentines. Where did you pick these up, Laura? Okay, we have a little local auction here in our hometown. Mm -hmm. And we you can go on Saturday night, and it's almost every Saturday night. And we got several things there. And that was the that was our first venture 
our first auctioning venture. Oh, and yeah. And we also got a whole box of salt and pepper shakers there. It, that was salt and pepper shaker night. Yes. And that's why we make fun of the fact that we get salt and pepper shakers everywhere we go. Yeah, so that was the first auction that we, that we ever went to together. And it was before we started videoing, so mm -hmm. we don't have any, any video of that, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, oh my God, the whole auction <laughs> was salt and pepper shakers. It really was. I mean, she had, to, the person whose estate that it was had to have just had hundreds and hundreds of these salt and pepper shakers all over her house. It was crazy. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that's where the joke comes from, folks. That was, our whole spend that whole night was $25, but the, so the, there were, I think you're about to get to them, there were coloring books. Yeah, I think and those coloring so, books actually were up here in the stuff somewhere, yeah, right here. Okay, so the coloring books were inside the cigar box, in one of those boxes, and then the valentines were inside like a, like one of those baby planters that was a fire truck. And those aren't very valuable, so we didn't, we did not list those. We redonated that, I think. Okay. It wasn't in very good shape, but they had stuck all these vintage valentines in it, and so I just took the valentines out and sold those. That is so cool. And again, I think those are worth a little more than that, but you know, we were just getting started. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's check this one out. This is a little magnolia flower. Did your aunt pick this up for you? She did. After I sold the first one for $70, she was like, oh my gosh, I'll have to watch for those. And sure enough, she found another one, but it's smaller. So the first one that sold was pretty big. I mean, it was like a good soup bowl size. Mm -hmm. This one was quite a bit smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Am I remembering that correctly? Yes. So yeah, but it was really pretty. And they had put that little wood, I don't know if that wood base is original to it, but it's cute on there. Yeah, it is. Gee, you did a good job. She likes to watch our videos. Oh, does she? Yeah. Hi, Gee. <laughs> so, yeah, we sold that one for 45 bucks. It was awesome. awesome. Okay. You know what? These, yeah, that's right. That's right. What? I said, so we might have taken a few dollars less than that on an offer. Yeah, maybe so. But the, I think, I think that. It's close, though. I think that what this says, though, is what we sold it for. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay, you're right. Okay, here's another Afghan. $40 on this one. Yeah, you didn't like that one, remember? Yeah, it wasn't one of my favorites. You know, the video where we go to the Goodwill, we were trying to catch you up on our contest. Yes. And I was trying to help you spend like, spend your last $10. Mm -hmm. And so we listed, we had these other Afghans. They're listed now, unless they've sold uh, between the time that we make this video. But I was like, okay, if you don't like, because you kept saying, about that one <laughs> and I was like well I just think we need that one and so I didn't want to put it in your haul because I didn't want you to have to spend part of your ten dollars on it because you didn't like it yeah. so I just went ahead and listed it before yeah. I listed the other ones and it sold <laughs> good for you I'm so pleased but you know the ones that I like are, are brighter and more colorful and they don't sell as well in some in some instances some of these earthier more like I don't know 70s retro 70s yeah. but you know what the um i don't think i showed it to you but one of the really popular um thrifters out there the lavender lavender clothesline or oh shoot we'll, we'll link her down below because i just we will i just butchered the name of her channel that's not the name of it but anyway you can like run it across the screen yeah okay absolutely. <laughs> she just had an afghan that she got in one of her hauls same thing at a Goodwill, paid Goodwill prices for it. And I think I think she listed it for $200 and it was rainbow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know. Good for you. That's super awesome. I know. Awesome. And it's, it's awesome. If I had $200, I would buy that from her. Very, I loved it. Very cool. So you're right. I mean, it just depends. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go keep going. Floral tea mugs. Now these were not Otagiri, correct? They didn't say it, and so I got smart. I didn't put, um, you know, I didn't reference Otagiri on those because I don't know. I really kind of think they are though. <laughs> um, but they are Japan, so yeah. I did put that on there. Um, see, they are marked Japan. Those are very cute. I thought they were cute. Yeah. I'm into the little speckled 
granite looking, granite wear looking ceramic mugs. Yeah, and I you like got $11 them. on those. They were just a dollar. Very good. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. More salt and pepper. We've got salt and pepper shakers for days. Little cactuses. Yeah, and you know, you're getting $9 at a time for those. That's a good, I, th I think that's a good amount to get out of a pair of salt and pepper shakers. I mean, yeah, especially when we go and we've we've gotten like 20 plus sets of these salt and pepper shakers in a box for, you know, say $10. Mm -hmm. And we're selling them each for $10 a pop. I mean, you know. Yeah, as we go through here, I will tell you this. So the very first auction that we were talking about, um, we spent $25, most of which was salt and pepper shakers. And we've sold about $60, $75 worth out of there. And then the other one. It just blows my mind. <laughs> the other one where we, that we were talking about with the pineapples, you and Nikki picked the two that sold first. Um, that one, we've already sold about $90 worth. That's incredible. Man. I think those came out of that. I love it. It's so good. Okay, so these uh, these are not. I don't mean. I guess they kind of are vintage because they're probably from the '90s because they're DVDs, right? Oh, right. CD ROM, DVD ROM. So I mean, but this just happened. What you got these at a, at a yard sale for next to nothing? That was 400 mile yard sale day, mm -hmm. and it was. Um, I think they, I think it was a quarter, and it was. New in the box with the plastic on there, oh, or nice. I wouldn't have got them because they're, I'm sure they're dated, you know, and I don't really know what the appeal is, but when I looked them up, people were buying them, so. Yeah, great, awesome, good job. Another Afghan, and I did like this one. It was like candy corn colors. This one was really cute. Yeah, and look at that cool design. Yeah, I love that. So you just, I mean, it's not rocket science or anything. You just want to look for something that's really different. You know, a solid color Afghan's not going to sell on eBay probably for any price probably. Right. It's got to be something different like that. Yeah. And this but, one was really cute. I must say your pictures are quite awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Look at that close up view. Show that one again. <laughs> I like that. You're funny. Okay. Another salt and pepper. These are cactuses also. <laughs> and say Arizona on them. Cactuses or cacti? Oh, yeah, that was wrong, wasn't it? Cacti. Okay. What is it, Nikki? Is it cac? Cacti. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. Again, nine dollars. $9. So yeah, awesome. We've got salt and pepper shakers for days. This one was one of my pickups at the auction. Uh, they sold this. I got it for a dollar, and we ended up selling this for fifteen. Yes. on ebay all the pieces were there it was in awesome shape we learned something here though on this one they are expensive to ship oh so you have to be careful when you're first starting out i know this is old news to most people but like i did not realize how expensive i allowed ten dollars i thought that was a lot but i mean if you get a priority box of what they call a game a game a board game box mm -hmm. it's 19 dollars or something yeah <laughs> Especially if it goes to California, which, of course, when we sell something like that, that's where it went, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we are learning. This is a, a whole learning curve for us. We are brand new to this. This is, you know, our first time making videos, our first time mm -hmm. on YouTube, our first time on eBay. So, we just kind of wanted to make this video and go through this stuff to show you that you guys can do this too. Right. <laughs> if we can do it, you can do it. If we can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> So yeah, all right, let's keep going. Wooden thimbles, okay, this was another one of my <laughs> laughing situations. This was in the, was it in the salt and pepper? It was mm -hmm. the Munch Brothers mm -hmm. auction, right? Okay, so that one was another video that we had tons and tons and tons of stuff in a huge box. And so we didn't get to show everything. This is one of the things that we did not show. I chose not to show it because I was like, we're never gonna sell these. I'm looking for them, I, yeah, but I think that's right. I'm almost positive that that's where these came from. I may not have written them down. They, we were so skeptical of them. <laughs> yeah, you probably didn't because I was like, I mean, there's just small little thimbles that are carved out of wood and hand painted. And I'm like, well, we might as well just throw these up there on eBay just to see. Lo and behold, they sold. 
I mean, they were very cute. I just didn't think, again, skeptical me, I need to be more like, I need to have more faith in us. <laughs> but we, we sold these for $13 and of course they cost next to nothing to ship, so. Right, yeah, that was a good one. And I really don't think we even wrote that down. Our total keeps going up here. It may be up by the end of the video. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. More salt and pepper. Polar bears. Those are cute. Yeah, these were very cute. Who wouldn't like those? Yeah, I like those a lot. I'm not, but see, and they, they're they really cool. The condition's not fantastic. No. Um, but they, they still had their original stickers on there. Mm -hmm. They're just, yeah. and they're not tipped or anything, but you know, they just look aged. But yeah. I like them like that. Me too. This little leaf ashtray, this was one of our first pickups too, uh, from our first video ever that we put on this channel mm -hmm. from the estate auction. This is where this came from. Mm -hmm. It, you know, it even had a little bit of damage. There was one little chip here, one little chip on the, on the tip of it right there. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's still brought a little bit of money. You know, be sure when you're, when you're listing your stuff on eBay that you're transparent about the condition if it has imperfections, if it has chips, make sure that you show those in a detail shot because the last thing that you want is somebody giving you a bad review or, you know, taking you to like some sort of eBay court or something over the condition of an item. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this was really pretty. I really liked it a lot. I would have kept this if we hadn't sold it. But yeah, very cool, unique. $13. We'll find you another one. Okay, thanks. <laughs> another Afghan? Yes, I went to Goodwill one day and... This one was really pretty. I like that one. Yeah. There's another pretty one we still have listed um, from that same day. But look at that one. That one's got the fringe all the way around. And look, look at the workmanship on that. It's really good. Yeah, and it was... It was Thick, and you could really tell that somebody had put a ton of time into this piece, and it was just really, really nice. Yeah, it sold pretty quick for, for $39.99. Yeah, it did. Um, and you do know, that's that's one of the cool things. Um, Goodwills all vary, but the ones around here, that's considered a blanket, and it's $2.49. Nice. So, it's not very often, you know, when you go to flea markets and stuff, like you saw in our... National flea market video. Everybody's got stuff and they know what it's worth. And right. It's, and it's hard to pick for resale at places like that. So it's really fun to come upon something that's not popular yet in your area and that people don't know about yet. Yes. Very cool. All right. Onward. I loved these little berry bowls. These are, uh, again, from, I think these were from our first auction too. The estate auction, our first video. Yes, it, they were. Yeah. So these were just little carnival glass berry bowls. These actually stayed up on eBay for a long time. They did. They racked up a ton of views. I mean, a lot of people were looking at these. Nobody was really pulling the trigger. We just kept them up there, though, mm -hmm. and it paid off. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. They're they're probably pretty common, oh, and that's yeah. probably why it took a while for them to sell. Um, they're still pretty. <laughs> All right. All right, these little Irish beer flight glasses. These were cute. I don't remember where you found these, Laura. Okay, so you guys remember um, the really cool, big antique auction that we did a video of that where we got all the furniture yes. for Joy, for yes. my mom. So while we were bidding on furniture, my cousin was over in the tent bidding on small items. Yeah. So... It's, it's kind of funny. It's a funny thing. Like, we were buying all these fantastic big pieces of furniture really cheap. But a lot of the little collectible stuff went really expensive. And I think it's because people could just take it home with them. They, yeah. You know, the, the people that were there were interested in buying that because they could keep it and take it home. They couldn't, no matter what a big old piece of furniture sold for, they couldn't take it home with them. Right. So, anyway, they were buying lots of boxes full of stuff that they didn't really know what was in them the cheaper things because the the better things were going really expensive so mom went through and said i can't sell this in my store yeah you know and so we got a tub of things from her like that yeah 
Very cool. And that, that was in them. And I was like, whoa, I can't, they, those sold pretty quick. Yeah, and they were just little small flight glasses. And mm -hmm. yeah, they didn't stay up there very long at all. 10 bucks. Laura likes these next salt and peppers. I think they were about her favorite. <laughs> these little leapfrogs. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Yeah. <laughs> they were very cute, I think. They're so ugly, they're cute. Oh, they're not ugly. <laughs> Look, he's so happy. Those were very cute. Yeah, another another $9 salt and pepper for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, here was a really cool one. And if you watched our video last week for Christmas, Merry Christmas, um, you hopefully saw these guys. You want to talk about these a little bit in case nobody saw that video? Yeah. Um, so these were sitting pretty much... I should probably send you the picture of what they look like in the, at the auction. But these came from our Saturday night auction. And actually, I just went in there, bid on those, and left because I didn't really like anything else there. But I saw those when I first came in, and I knew they were collectible. So, I don't know. I haven't seen any lately. I don't even know if they... I should do my research. I don't know that the, if they're still making them or not. But they were so popular you know, in the late 80s and early 90s. Um, this, they're called Buyer's Choice, and they are lots of different carolers like this. So see, she's, is she singing? Yeah, she's singing. <laughs> and But this is a Salvation Army one with the band and the kettle and um, all the little accessories. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah, I mean, I just think that there's a large group of collectors out there for these particular figures. Yeah, absolutely. And this, they aren't all Salvation Army is what I'm trying to say. That's just one of the little the uh, little side themes that they have. But yeah. they're all carolers. Yeah. And so they're very Christmassy, and people do, just like they do Christmas Villages, I think they have big displays of the carolers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and this is one of the things that we ended up spending more on, but we knew we would get a bigger return in the long run. So, Laura, I think that you spent $30, $35 mm -hmm. on these, and we ended up selling them for $250. So, that was awesome. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, $35, that's not much. Yeah. So, that one was really fun to hear that little cash register sound go off on eBay. Oh, that's my favorite thing. <laughs> Can we just talk about that? If you guys are... Any of you are, have started selling on eBay? That's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> the little cash register. Yes. <laughs> I wish it would go off right now. You can see how excited I get. Oh, look what's next. Nikki, look what's next. It's the tombstones. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we laughed about all of those salt and pepper shakers in that box for a really long time. They were really funny, very interesting. Nikki guessed that these would uh, sell first out of that box. They sold second, so that was a pretty good guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's just fantastic right there. <laughs> that's fun. Okay, so this ring, this was not really anything that we picked up um, in a yard sale or anywhere like that. My mom actually lost uh, a necklace that she wore almost every day. And it was a QVC brand, and I've been looking on eBay for it because she lost it for months. And it just so happened that I found one, and it came in a lot with a necklace, the bracelet, and the ring. So the ring was a size nine, and she would have liked to have the ring, but it would have been way too big for her. Mm -hmm. She's very, very petite. Um, so the ring, I just happened to look um, on eBay to see what they were going for. And the larger size rings in this particular brand were going for quite a bit of money. The smaller size rings weren't. So it just so happened that we had this large size ring and I was able to, you know, resell that on eBay because I didn't need it. And that sold quick. It sold really quick. Yeah, we just barely had it up there. We probably should have put more on it. So yeah, so that was kind of fun. You know, that was just something that I bought. I didn't need all of what I had. So just put that back up there. And, and I, I guess we can talk about, when we talk about this, this is a good example of doing your research before you put it for sale, put it up for sale. Because 
you're right. You were kidding, but you're right. We, we might, if we wanted to hang on to it longer, we might have got a little bit more for it. You were wanting to sell it pretty quick, you know, to get part of your money back. Um, and they had, it had sales all the way from $49 to like $95. Yeah. The same item. This is yeah. the exact same. Yeah. So you really have to, you know, just because you've seen a couple sell for $49 doesn't mean you can't get more out of it. You know, you really need to research your item if it's one that's not unique. You know, if you've got several for sale on there and just, you know, you can't get it if you don't ask it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the last item that I'm going to talk about was the, our last sale of November. So this these sales, let's see, go all the way from the beginning of June to the end of November, which if my math is correct, that's six months. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is six months worth of sales. And again, we did make uh, a little over that $1,000 sale mark on eBay. Keep in mind, you do have to pay eBay some fees on each of your sales. Um, if you boost your listings, which we do sometimes, that's a little bit of an extra fee. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, not all of this is pure profit. It's, yeah, just, and it's just in sales. Yeah, this is just... You know, we're just at the hobby stage, so we just we didn't really want to do all the bookkeeping and stuff and, and figure out how much we spent on fees and how much we spent on this or that. This right. is, you know, so we just ballparked it for you. We're just in this for fun. So the last thing that, that we sold in November were these little storybook chocolate tins. And those were on last week's video. Yes. And we talked about the fact that we were going to... Um, that I had them listed all separate and got to thinking about it. And I was like, you know, people, that's just too much shipping for people. They're not going to want to pay $8 to ship a $7 or $8 item. Exactly. And so we uh, said we would take a picture of them all together. And we did and put them on there and they sold just quickly. Yeah, really quick. So, yeah, that's just another learning experience for us. Um, and, and if you see that your things are not selling, you know, be realistic about the prices that you have on them. If you have things like this that you've got separated, consider consolidating those. In this case for us, I mean, that helped tremendously. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, you know, they sold we, right away. We ended up getting $30 out of those. Yeah. So that was awesome. So yeah, that's that's our list. So that's from June, at the beginning of June, all the way to the end of November. Um, a little over $1,000 there in sales. Um, I bet you didn't think we'd be a thousand dollars in. No. When we first started this, again, I'm a skeptic. I am a pessimist, glass half empty kind of person. <laughs> Laura is a glass overflowingly full type of person. So I think that we kind of equal, you know, we kind of like cancel each other out in that way. And we have a lot of fun doing this. And we've had a really fun last year doing this. We have. Yeah. I can't wait to see what 2020 is like. I know. So, I mean, I'm really happy that you guys have watched this video. Um, please leave us a comment. We really enjoy reading your comments, and we love to respond to those. Um, like this video if you liked us. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I hope that you guys have an awesome new year, and I hope that 2020 is the best year ever. So, yeah, thanks, everybody. And as always, stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time.